Uh, so, last time we left off, I was attempting to try and get to new areas, and we kept getting sidetracked by little missions for each individual area we bump into. <laughs> About the Crusades. Oh, you want my son, Conry, do you? I am at the bank. Let's see here, we need to go west. Wee. We're on a mighty quest to stop the evil, uh... Oh, I don't know. My brain just... My brain doesn't want to remember any names right now. We're on a quest to stop the evil Trebek from invading the world of Tanriel. So who's this? Walking into the fortress. Who's this being really grumpy in my doorway? Hold there. Visitors to Taldaic Fortress must adhere to protocol. We have very strict rules here. Of course. Tell me what's uh, expected. You should immediately report to General Garbrin <clears throat> Redoran at Taldaic Keep on the far side of the compound. A word of advice? The General has been somewhat erratic lately don't ask him too many questions erratic how do you mean let's <laughs> just say he's been somewhat unpredictable and he sees spies around every corner you don't want to get him angry trust me well try to bear that in mind no promises Better than mine, no promises. But can I ask you more questions? I need more questions. Now that you've told me no questions, it's all about the questions now. Besides, uh, I believe the sky shard here has more precedence over your busy body guy than in any way. So let's just go with this, shall we? Sparkly glowy. Skill point! What do we spend it on? This is the duration of... okay. <clears throat> oh, I still have another skill point? Where did that come from? Did I level up and forget to do it yesterday? Just think to possibility, I suppose. Follow up. What's this? Resist in a cost to two handed abilities. Actually, yeah, let's go with that. Yep, I didn't level up. That light spell that does nothing? <laughs> Oh, you mean the thing that kind of comes down on people and just kind of lingers on them for a while? Seems that the, they have a real problem of trying to make make it feel like these spells do anything, to be honest. Still, the burning should now be uh, increased in duration. My character look like right now without this arm, this outfit on. Uh, you. 
costumes put away. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she's still in the Halloween armor. Soldier's face. General, Board. we must enforce protocol. If enough, not another word about protocol, Captain. Remember your place. Hello. Don't you stand there with your mouth open? You're attracting flies. Speak. General Graven Renalden, I was told to present myself to you. No matter how often I punish them, some of these soldiers must adhere to rules and regulations. Where's the fun in that, I ask you? Since you're here, I think we have a Nord spy in the fort. Expose this spy and I'll make you a captain. Aren't the Nords part of the pact? That's what makes this spy so dangerous. And never question my orders again. Never! Go expose Ragnar Stormcrag for the spy she is. I command it. Now get out of here, both of you. I have things to do. I'll look into it, but I think you're a piece of shit already. Good day, sir. <laughs> you know, the only thing this guy is missing right now is a raised arm. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's halfway to goose stepping. Which is a horrific thing to be seeing these days. I think it was just an awkward animation. Someone else wants to pester me now? What? What fresh madness has the general come up with today, hmm? He thinks you're a Nord spy. Well, that's a new one. I've been the general's bodyguard for nearly a decade. If I was plotting against him, I think I'd have made my move by now. He wants me to expose you. I'm risking my neck telling you this, but I don't know what else to do. I think the general's gone mad. One moment he sees traitors everywhere, the next he's cancelling security patrols. There's no telling what crazy whim will spur him on next. Certainly don't seem like a spy to me. I've devoted my life to protecting the General and helping the Pact. That's why I need to find out what's wrong with him. Maybe you can help me? Well, what do you want me to do? The General ordered me to stay out of his quarters <clears throat> on the lower level. He's never done that before. And I want to know what he's hiding. He's posted a guard. But if you can get past him and search the room, maybe you can find out what's going on? I'll see what I can find. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Something's not right here. I won't rest until we figure it out. Is there anything I can do to help? The general accused me of being a spy. If I'm caught snooping around, he'll arrest me. I can't very well protect the fort while I'm locked in a cell, can I? Hmm. Can't really persuade her, I don't think. I think that's the thing that you need for somewhere else. But you're alright with the, me taking the risk? I'm asking for your help. Not for me, but for the general and everyone stationed here. Something's seriously wrong, and we need to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Better than one, so him wanting you to expose yourself. Yeah, he'd likely get a gauntlet in the face first for trying that number. Anyway. Boom. Boom. As if sneaking is in my thing. Do 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 I got glowing armor and people will never see me a mile away. <laughs> Huzzah! Hmm.
not exactly like I can go in there going, Hello, housekeeping! And just walk in. What to do about you? Yeah. Yo. Move along. There's nothing to see here. I need to look around. Look somewhere else. These are the general's private quarters. He doesn't allow visitors. Soldiers have, n have never have enough gold. Maybe you can use this. My family back in Mournhold needs the gold. All right. Here's the key to his locked furniture. Just hurry it up before we both get caught. I'll be quick. He's not worn any of his outfits recently. Nothing has been touched in a long time. Curiouser and curiouser. Anyway, bye. Thank you. Yo. You've got a look in your eye like you're onto something. Don't let me keep you. Um, um. Here. Actually, let's take care of one thing at a time first. Got this amulet we gotta turn in. Leave me to my grief. I found this amulet upon the coiled path. Was Risa your daughter? Let me see that. By the three. My poor darling Risa. I miss her so much. I found, I found her journal as well. Her last thoughts were on you. We had such an argument before she left. That was the last time I saw her. But to finally find out what happened to her, to get her amulet, it makes the pain a little less intense. Well, I hope this goes this helps to ease your sorrow. I'll wear it always. To remember my beautiful brave Risa. Thank you so much for easing an old woman's grief. Very welcome. My Sorry life. for your loss. My sorrow is great to have caused you pain. I wish you would not grieve any longer. Here's peace, mother. Anyway, uh, sorry to hear about all that, but we got, also got other business because there's a crazy man running this place. As much as I'd like to deck him, I'd like to also find out what the hell's going on with him. Ah, hello. You again. Captain Dorono at your service. A moment of your time, Captain. A moment is all I can spare, I'm afraid. The General is already greatly displeased with me. Uh, what did you do wrong? I wish I knew. I've always served dutifully, followed the will of the Tribunal, and defended the fortress with honor. I've even been enforcing the General's nonsensical orders, usually against my better judgment. I saw a difference on the uh, general's desk. He intends to ex execute you for insubordination. I am a soldier, loyal to my house and the Ebonheart Pact. I am sworn to obey my superiors without question. I don't have the luxury of questioning orders, no matter how suspect. If I am to be executed, so be it. Until then, leave me to my duty. Uh-huh. 
I'm sorry, but there's a certain point where you gotta start asking questions, buddy. Anyone with half a brain would. Private dispatch secret. When you're uh, when you're able to slip away unnoticed, find the others in the ruins by the river. I ordered soldiers to avoid the area, so you should have no trouble. Destroy this note after you read it. Durell, Gavani, or I will burn you to cinders. Kaboom. Um... His duty, duty. Oh my God! <laughs> Hello, no wall. <laughs> well, that was interesting. <laughs> How goes your investigation? Any luck? I found this note. I think there's something suspicious about the general's new retainer. The ruins by the river? The general had them sealed off and commanded that the place was off limits. Uh, curiouser and curiouser. We need to find out more about the general's retainer. This Durel Gilveni. Why did the general send him into the ruins? And who are those others the note refers to, hmm? I could go down there and take a look. I was hoping you'd save it. If I disappear, someone might notice and raise an alarm. <clears throat> the entrance to the ruins is down by the river, beyond the mess tent. If you find anything of significance, take it directly to Captain Valak. Alright, I'll talk to him. Maybe I'll get to talk some sense into his thick skull. Yeah, running for the win. The entrance to the ruins is a van down by the river. Uh, no! I'm pretty sure this is not a van, thank goodness. Oh, look, happy things again. Nothing but happy things in caves. Or so I've been told. Sneak. Pick a move. Whee! Oof. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, is that Warcraft or is that Oblivion? And I can't remember anymore. Anyway. So in Warcraft has something, actually, you know what, Warcraft is something slightly different. It's very similar, though. Yo, she bitch.
get me out of here. Hello. Thank the three. You don't look like one of these mad moorborn cultists. Who are you, and how'd you get locked up down here? I'm Sir Riven, a soldier from the Thought. I uh, might have crept down to the river to enjoy a quiet drink away from my superiors. Well, don't look at me like that. Anyway, these stupid cultists grabbed me. Next thing I knew, I was locked in here. All right, I'll get you out. One of those moorborn must have the key. <clears throat> and one more thing. One of them was carrying around a creepy Daedric book when they brought me in. They took it into the lower tunnels. If you get the book, I could use it to explain my absence. All right, we'll see. <clears throat> Yeah, those were the bookshelves I already went through. Anything here? No. Nope. Hello. Uh, don't kill me. Someone help. Why are you cowering back here? I I saw what you did to my fellow Morborn. I don't want to end up like the others out in the Great Hall. So tell me, what's going on down here? We're the Moorborn. You can't order us around. We control your general. We control your fortress. You're too late to stop us this time. Do you control the general? The Moorborn put events into motion you can't comprehend, let alone stop. Your general is dead, and his body lies in the caves below. Let me go. And perhaps I'll convince my mistress to kill you quickly. Not today, asshole. You wanna act like scum? I'll treat you like the scum you are. Oh, hi. Sneaking in the shadows. Sharpening our knives. I got a key. Let's see, what else is down here? Find proof of the journal's demise and find the tome. Alright. First things first. Kill him. <laughs> Didn't even need to look. Yep, it's killing time. It's awfully quick. He got off light. Something about not being a stew pot? Sword already run out again. Eat your health like tit tacks. All 
Alrighty then. here. Right, I need to do this. Recharge. Got some more soul gems now, so it should be easy enough. Yes. one place with a bookshelf. Oh, someone's already over here. Hi. They trick tome. Alrighty. Got the key, got the book, got some evidence. We're good to go. Slightly improved, yes. Sword is slightly improved when it's fully charged. Oh, hi again. I see where you're hiding now. <laughs> that delayed reaction death. through yo you're back did you get the key in the book I found the key in the book oh that's a relief now get me out and give me the book I need to report in to sergeant Marl maybe you could put in a good word for me tell him how brave I was <laughs> oh fine I don't like to, but fine. You can have the damn book. I'll see you at the fort. Thanks, friend. Just I'll let this be a lesson. You back at the fortress. You must, and just note to yourself that you're extremely lucky. I'm allowing this right now. <laughs> Do this again, and I'm not gonna be hiding and covering for you. Uh, I'll treat for the little pissant you are. Anyway. Yeah, this is why we can't have nice things. It's just like... Mm. If it wasn't for the fact that you told me about the book, I literally wouldn't even give you half a chance at it, dude. Anywho... So 
talk to you about something? Sarvin here has told me an interesting story. Care to elaborate? Yes, Sergeant. He engaged the Mulborn without regard to his own safety. Huh. Normally, I wouldn't be quick to believe such a tale, but the book Sarvin brought back seems to support it. Take this for your efforts. Leave Sarvin to me. Okay, Doug. Good day. Thanks again, friend. <clears throat> you're extremely lucky. Don't push your. I'll see you next time you're in trouble, and I'll feed you to the logs. No iron team. Where have you been? Where's the general? The general was murdered by the Mulborn, and uh, they, uh, Dremora took his place. I recovered this insignia ring. Of course. The general's madness, the strange sounds coming from the ruins. It all makes sense now. We were so blinded by protocol we couldn't see it. I'll assume command immediately and send troops to deal with the Moorborn. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Raga, Ragna. Uh, thank Ragna. She knew something was wrong and convinced me to look into it. Just like a headstrong Nord to throw protocol to the wind. Perhaps we could all learn from her. Excuse me, my friend. I believe I have an officer to promote. I certainly hope so. Have a nice day. Ah, Stormcrag. Good timing. Come here. <laughs> I want to hear this. Sorry, Captain. Didn't mean to eavesdrop. News of the general's death will spread quickly. We must maintain order. <clears throat> More dark elf discipline and protocol? That's what caused this mess. That's why I want to appoint you as my aide and advisor, so our discipline doesn't blind us again. Me? Yes. I'd be happy to help keep the fortress on track. That sounds nice. Okie doke. All right, no fancy books there. I believe we're actually done here. I can't believe it, we're actually walking away from something. Racist? Nah! He's just pointing out that the way that the Nords work is a very different way and method than what the Dark Elves usually work with, at least in these areas. There are other Dark Elves that could also teach them a lesson or two as well. Another side quest. I don't need more side quests. I'm trying to get done with the quests I already get. Oh, actually, speaking of questing and traveling and so forth, unless that's a city over there, I need to stop somewhere with a stable, actually. Is there a stable here? Big enough to have one. Hey, just a small stable. A little able. No? Fine. Head over this way. <laughs> Bonanza? It almost sounded like Bonanza, yes. Uh, funny enough, that's a show my mother was really into when she was younger, apparently. Teleport here. And again, I think she, uh, throughout the 70s and 80s, she was into anything that Michael Landon was in, to be honest, so. <laughs> if 
For those of you who don't know, that was one of the main actors in Bonanza. There's also another one where he was like an angel or something. She used to watch that a lot too. Matter of fact, uh, that show even threw in an extra reference to Michael Landon's uh, early career when they had him dress up as a werewolf for one episode to spook kids. Um, it was actually a reference to him being the lead actor in I Was a Teenage Werewolf. What a very silly, silly movie, but somehow it gave him credibility in Hollywood, so... Uh... <laughs> actually, I believe the stables are over this way. Highway to Heaven, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Feeksy face palms, just remembering the name of it. <laughs> uh, he, he might be come off as annoying to us, but back in the day, he was a huge, like, actor. He was a pretty popular actor at the time, so I can't hate people for liking Welcome, him. Friend. You won't find a better stable. It was it was the thing of the times, you know. Just like psychedelic special effects in 1970s and 60s TV shows. I can't blame Doctor Who for having that stuff. It was just part of the times. Well, you were alive, I was alive too. I believe it was like early to mid 80s that that show ran until I believe until he died. Uh, when Landon died, I believe that show was running. for a horse and yeah, we're talking about ancient actors that most people don't even know the first names of <laughs> these streams I tell ya it makes me feel old to the shrine hi once again my people need me but I dwindle and fade are you really Saint Veloth I was now I am but a remnant of my former glory magistrix Vox shattered my reliquary and reduced me to my current state you need my blessing to defeat her, but as I am now, I cannot bestow it. All right, how do I help fix that? Restore my reliquary. Find the pieces <clears throat> scattered about the shrine and bring them to Master Aran at the central dais. When I'm made whole, I can help you prevail against Vox. All right, we'll look into getting those pieces Many then. Many of my priests died fighting the Daedra who now defiled the shrine. Those who remain seek to gather the pieces of my reliquary. Speak to Priest Deline, who is best favored of my servants. I, I know she still lives. Alrighty, and Vixi uses a uh, thing in the chat that looks like Tor Johnson. For demigod, he's pretty uh, pathetic. St. Veloth here is supposed to be a demigod? I don't know. Anyway.
Somebody's got barred. Some extra odds and ends. Whee! Our stone, and I believe we need to find one more stone. Yep. Interesting, but no. Surprised they're not asking me to close the portals. <laughs> Saint Demigod, whatever. <laughs> yeah, he's not a demigod, he's he's a spirit of a dead person. If he's supposed to be some sort of higher plane planier person, then he'd be all extra glowy. He's just regular glowy. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? This humble shrine. I have several pieces of Saint Veloff's reliquary. Blah. Saints bless you, but we have an even bigger problem. In all the chaos, we just discovered that the saint's holy skull is missing. One of my priests saw a daedroth carry it off. We must recover it. Veloff's skull, hey? Okay. I cleanse on the trail of the daedroth that took it. I saw him follow the thing toward the western crypts. Now, please hurry before that beast damages our holy relic. Uh, the guy dies and his head becomes your holy relic. Okay. I hope it's not like Ultima where you just start waving the skull around and randomly just kill the entire universe. Yo, you got a skull? I thought I was the only one fool enough to be sneaking around this place. Are you trying to get killed? Run for it while you can! Are you the acolyte trying to get the skull? I am. Though I wish I wasn't. What a monster. But it's got the sacred cranium. I'm sure of it. It stalked off this way and I sneaked after it. Where's the Daedroth now? It went into the crypt. You can probably follow it just by its odor. It smells like a hot forge. Are you going after it? Because I'm not. That thing breathes fire. You're a pansy. You're immune to fire. You're a dark elf. I'm going in there. Good day. <sighs> worthless. People are worthless. Immune to fire as a racial trait, and you can't even be bothered to chase after a demon. <sighs> Yo, got a skull? Cuz I'm looking for a skull! shards on me nowadays. Yeesh. Whatever that attack is, it hits like a freaking sledgehammer. Funny enough, he's gone right now. Oh, there he is again. Hey. Got your skull. Penny for your thoughts. Ooh. Haha. -ha. Ow! 
I can shoot fire too! Oof. Okay, that's new. Alright, not the only one in the room anymore. Thank you. Hurry. My time. Make haste. For soon I will be no more. I got your skull. Take it to the dais and place it with the reliquary pieces. Vox believed that when she shattered my reliquary, she removed me from this battle. Your deeds have foiled her scheme. What does Vox want? She wants to return to a simpler time, when our people worship the good Daedra. But that time is past. Nonetheless, she wields my hammer, Veloth Judgment. I used it to defend our people. She uses it for revenge. I guess he is kind of almost demigodish, but not quite. He's he's more of a popular saint, and he just had a very blessed weapon of some sort. Anyway, how did she acquire such a powerful artifact? The tribunal has long held it in their care. Mad and reckless, Vox stole it from their temple. Now I am fading, and my connection to this plane becomes more tenuous. If you would restore my reliquary, delay no longer. Alrighty. People almost hold him in, like, in regard almost like a demigod or something, but nah, he's, he's just a really popular saint that held a holy weapon that helped him get rid of nasty monsters and stuff back in the day. <clears throat> Anywho. Um. Boom! Wow, well, that's bright. Okay, now he's more Dietrich-like. Hello. I am returned to my customary ethereal vigor. Thanks to you, my child. Alright, so any advice on how I should proceed against Vox? Vox possesses my hammer, the Judgment. Like any such artifact, it can be used for good or turned to darker purposes. But all is not lost. I can protect you from the hammer's powers. What powers does Velof's Judgment possess? When Judgment falls, Vox kills her target and traps its soul. The trapped souls feed her power, making her stronger than other mortals. Few can survive the hammer's strike. But you shall. How? I shall bestow upon you my blessing. Imbued with the power of my holy favor, the hammer cannot kill you. Excellent. But it will send you to where the other souls are trapped. You shall free Vox's prisoners and thus break her power. Sounds cool. I hope she gets swelled up by the hammer or something like some, something out of like the uh, better Nightmare on Elm Street movies. That'd be cool. All right. I'll do my best to stop my best Gloria, to stop her. Exalted by my blessing to Idolan's Hollow. Stop Magistrix Vox and put an end to her madness. Okie dokie. Next up on our quest. Oh dear. His impatience will get him in trouble one of these days. Are you trying to drag me into another side quest? I don't need another side quest. You're gonna try and drag me over there, aren't you? People always dragging me everywhere. I'm sure Darlin is fine. I probably shouldn't worry. Who's Darlin? Healer Darlin. He was headed to Idolan's Hollow to tend to the wounded. He wanted Dreamora hearts. He uses them to craft healing potions. I collected a few, but he was gone by the time I returned. 
How will he make his potions without them? Let me guess, you want me to chase after him? I followed you around and collected hearts from the Dreamora you killed. Easiest job I've had in weeks. Darlan can make strong healing potions out of them. It's a wonder that something beneficial can come from these creatures. I'll take them to the hollow then. Okay, they're dragging me. They're actually dragging me in the direction I want to go, so I guess I'll do it. Ow. Somebody's an asshole. I need to have for you. And while we're down here, we're going to hit a waypoint here. Site. Somewhere right up ahead, okay. Bum 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 bum. We've been expecting you. I've not ah stop pushing my horse. I came all the way from St. Veloth's Shrine to lend my skills to this effort. An acolyte was worried about you. Eldry fusses too much. I'm needed here. My contributions may be less flamboyant than those with a more militaristic approach, but I help in my own small way. Uh, Eldry said you need these uh, Demora hearts. Oh, what a disgusting mess you get when you put a bunch of Dreamora hearts in a sack. But thanks for bringing them to me. The potions I can make with these will help a lot. You're welcome. I have no idea what that yellow light was. That's not normally the light for level ups. Still check. Nope. I wonder if maybe somebody was casting something. I don't know what happened. Ah, you've come, and just in time. Vox has summoned Daedric cultists to make up for the Morborn losses. <clears throat> Morrowind ordered us to wait for the one who brings the blessing of Veloth to arrive. I have the blessing, so I guess you are looking for me. Uh, so what's the situation? Lady Almalexia sent her ordinators to hold this position, but we are too few to go up against Vox's bolstered forces. I'll deal with Fox. A moment, please. Our lady knows of your arrival. Sit by the fire and she'll speak to you presently. All right. Oh. Yo. You received Veloth's blessing and have come to the hollow, just as I have foreseen. The Blasphemer Vox has sealed herself behind powerful wards. While these wards are in place, she is hidden from me. Three wards protect her. One bound to the living, one to the dead, and one to the Daedric Plains. Destroy these wards, then you will be able to enter the Blasphemer's lair. Okie dokie. I guess that covers bases. Strange lights emanate from three locations in the ruins above. That's where I'd look for the wards. Once they fall, the way into Vox's lair should be clear. Righto. All right. Gonna kick somebody's ass and name names. 
Okay. Let's just take the front path and then we'll venture off from there. Oh, hey. Shiny runes while I'm at it. Might as well, they're right there. I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, hey! Just all kinds of Ariel come up here. Oh, hi! Not going anywhere. Ooh. Hey there, Chuckles! Keep pulling that hammer from. God, that song just will not stop with this horse. I think it's really the pattern of the hoof beats. Speak up and kill him. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't notice the third one there. Game to try and tab out on me anytime. Why are you buffering? I couldn't tell ya. <clears throat> so far, it seems like the stream is pretty much up to date for me.
it back. Okay, good. Alright, up here. She's going to need aid. Come on. Two. I'm pushing two. Attack her. Oh, you dumb wit. No more of that. All right. Oh, that's a different quest. Ah. You vile little bunch of imps. You all can eat fireballs, you little pests. Oh, I didn't want that. Oh well. By all little short stacks of pain. Anyway, oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Thought you had made us stronger stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. The hollow cave. Dun dun dun. Here we go. I'm gonna end this bitch. Hi. Who are you that shatters Vox's wards and defies her will? Why hasn't she consumed your soul as she has with all the others? How very interesting. I'm here to destroy her. Others have made this claim. Others have died. Still, I enjoy watching a good challenge. Hmm. I see you have powerful allies of your own. Almalexia and Veloth. But they can't help you here. You threaten Vox, enraging her, forcing her to commit even more brutal atrocities. How glorious. Soon her army of Daedra and lost souls will march forth, unleashing new terrors across the land. Exactly why I'm going to stop her. Bold words, but your divines can't protect you here. Your goddess hides in her temple, while Vox wields the power of oblivion. How do you hope to stand against that? The blessing of, blessing of Veloth he himself, why not? Veloth's blessing. So impressive. But a paltry blessing doesn't make you invincible. You did take down the wards, though. I'll give you that. Perhaps you do pose a challenge to Vox after all. How about you explain yourself, spirit? You must learn Vox's secrets before you can hope to face her as an equal. Search for the three anima archives within. Let them pull you into the realm of memory. Let them show you how this little drama came to be. 
the realm of memory? The archives will reveal Box's past, letting you witness the events that brought us to this moment. Start with the Western Anima Archive and touch the Anima Crystal. Then speak to me and watch and learn. Who are you and why are you doing this? How could I witness this monumental event if I was somewhere else? As to who I am, well, at the moment, I am your friend. Let's leave it at that. You got purpley glow. I'm not sure I'll trust you, but I'll have a look at what you have to show me. Uh, not that it's going to change my mind on that. The fact that this crazy bitch needs to be stopped. No looting items? Jeesh. Been super stingy with the lockpicks lately, game. Hey, a shield, though. I'll take that. She's a NPC I need to talk to. I can't just stop and kill her, although I really don't trust her. If this was a normal Elder Scrolls game, I probably would kill her. Just because I'm like, nah, fuck you. As long as she's a killable NPC. There are a few NPCs that they don't allow you to kill. Vox wasn't always like this. Once she willingly served the tribunal and was committed to its cause. What happened then? Vox's son grew distant, more radical. He broke his mother's heart. Watch, listen. This is how Vox's dark journey begins. You mustn't do this, my son. Defying the tribunal is a death sentence. Enough, mother! Your faith in false gods blinds you to the truth. You mustn't say such things, Miram. Silence, mother! The Daedric princes return. I welcome them as the true gods of this land. Please, Miram, come back. I don't want to see you get hurt. In other words, her son was really, really, really stupid and she is still bleeding hard over the fact that he left her like a moron. I, I can't fault a mother up to a point, though. Knock it off, ghosties. Now what? Now what do you want to do to me? Trying to make me go over that way, okay. Come back here. Nope, not necessary. Said to use the crystal. The son listened when cunning Boethia whispered in his ear. He tried to steal an artifact from the tribunal temple, the hammer known as the Judgment of Veloth. Many of the tribunal's faithful died gloriously that day. And what happened then? Miram was caught and punished. Magistrix Vox witnessed her son's torment. She was powerless 
to intervene. Well, because her son was extremely foolish. It seems like she pretty much followed the path of her son after her son already went down that well. My child. Sadly. Why have you spilled innocent blood? What has led you to perform such evil? You are a lie, Almalexia. A false god. I renounce you as the imposter you are. You show no remorse, and your crimes cannot be ignored. Let this be a lesson to all who would oppose the tribunal. No, my lady. Mercy! I beg of you! He's my only son! What mercy did Miram show his victims? I am sorry, dear Yuri, but he has earned this punishment. Oh! Well, she's definitely copying her son almost to a T at this point. Going for the hammer and everything else like an idiot. Freezing me. It's annoying. Fancy me, you here. Boop. Poor Vault. Mad with grief. Vowed revenge upon the three. Beautiful Boethia whispered in the mother's ear, revealing that faith isn't as strong as the bond between a mother and her child. Vox had been wronged. She'd been pushed too far. And let me guess, she went crazy? As a trusted servant of the Tribunal, Vox had access to their inner chambers and their most prized treasures. Almalexia believed Vox's devotion was strong, her faith unshakable. Almalexia was wrong. False gods, false justice. Miram was right. The Daedric princes must return, and blood must flow. Let them die. Let them rot. Let them feel my pain. No false gods can stop me. Yes, you really yes. Let your plague spread across the land as your rage fills you and makes you strong. But you need Veloth's hammer. You must take it for your own. The judgment. That's what my son sought to possess. Yes, it will be mine. And with judgment in my hand, the tribunal shall fall. Go! Gather your followers. Spread your plague. We'll Pardon me, Ghost, but that shadowy figure looks it, very familiar. You can devour living souls and unleash your true power. <laughs> you think to hide from me, intruder? I see you. <laughs> So you led her to do this? Impressive. Her memory detected your presence. Look how her power grows. Your time is running out. This is so exciting. I think you'll have only one chance to stop her. And how does this help me stop Vox? You saw the pain that drove Vox to unleash the plague and rally the Moorborn to glorious acts of violence. Now you understand her motives, and are finally ready to face her. Well, except for the power of Veloth's hammer. You can't overcome that. Oh, you want to watch me try. Veloth's hammer allows Vox to strip away the souls of those she slays, and imprison them in her misty realm. They lose their memories and grant her almost divine power. To challenge Vox, 
You need to set those souls free. That's part of the plan. How do I do that? I want to see a fair fight. But that can't happen here. Judgment keeps your silly gods at bay. There's only one sure course. You must die by the Hammervox wheels. Once you enter her realm, you can collapse it from within. That's pretty much the idea, I guess. What are you worried about? You have Velox's blessing. It's your connection to this world. Believe in yourself and in Velox. The saint will protect you. And I can't wait to see how all this turns out. Don't disappoint me. Alright. I'm gonna try this anyways, but I'm still wondering why you let her here if you're gonna just watch her get destroyed. Oh well. <clears throat> There's that glow again. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I wonder maybe if it's supposed to be Velof's Blessing and it just randomly sparks up. I'm not sure. Anyway, hello! I'm here to smite you! You, the meddler from my memories. Have you come to die? I've come here to slay you. You shattered my wards. You entered my hollow in service to a false god. I'm impressed you made it this far. But your interference ends here. You cannot kill me. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful. Kill you? I could have done that long ago. You are strong. You overcame obstacles that blocked even the false goddess. Why kill you? You'd make a fine ally. I'll never ever help anyone who murders the innocent. Innocent? Innocent. You saw what your goddess did to my son. Punishment. Why do you choose to be a willing slave of those imposters? Think for yourself. Stand with me. No, you must be stopped before more innocent people are murdered. You utter fool. Stop me? Not even the tribunal can stop me. The power of Velox's judgment courses through my body. You shall feel its power as I take your life and absorb your soul. Bring it! I am the soul shriven! I will have your power, and the tribunals as well. We'll see about that, bitch! Different about this one. Hiya! I'm not sparkly gluey. This one's solid. Yeah! A visitor? Strange. Your hands. Your body. Solid. Whole. Where did you come from? Your mother tried to kill me. I wound up here. My mother? I have a mother? I don't remember much besides my name. This is my world. My everything. I've never known anything but this place. And you don't belong here. Why are you here? To send you free. Free? I don't understand. My companions often speak of freedom as if there's something more somewhere else. But they say we're trapped, that the Keeper holds us in this realm. The Keeper? Up there on the Western Altar. We can't touch it. You could talk to my companions about freedom. I'll listen. Okie doke. Fair enough. The power in your hands is familiar, yet I cannot place it. It almost feels... Oh, what I would give to be able to feel anything. To feel the touch of wind on my face, my hand on another's. What binds you here? The Keeper's tricks hold me here. It's locked my soul away and it taunts me with it, holding it in its crazy game of puzzles. It's so close, but it might as well be a million leagues away. What puzzle? On the eastern dais, two keys rotate in a pattern around two locks on the flagstones. To free my trapped spirit, both keys must be in place on both locks at the same time. Or so the Keeper says. And you can't do that? I can't touch it. I can't touch anything. But you, can you? 
If you could strike the keys, slow them down so they reach the locks at the same time. Oh, please, you must try it. All right, we'll have a look. Okay, see what's going on. I need to keep messing with them until I can get their paths to line up right. There you go. You've done it. At last. The power in your hands. It's Valoth's blessing, isn't it? I remember now. I was a priest at the shrine before the woman came. Fox, I will have my revenge. Sounds like fun. Alright, next up, you. My gods have forsaken me, but you radiate divine favor. I sense power in you. Have you come to set us free? Tell me about the Keeper. The Keeper imprisons us. It <clears throat> binds us to this realm. It mocks us. We can't touch it. We can't touch anything. But you... Yes, I can touch things. What do I need to help you with? The Keeper says it holds our souls. That's how we are bound. If the Keeper is defeated, perhaps I would be free. I'll kill the Keeper. Got it. It's been so long since I felt this joy. It feels like hope. What do you think of this so far? I don't understand why you're here. But there must be a reason. I need time. Give me time to think. Speak to my companions. Alright, well, let's go over here. Seems like someone needs a good uh, beating. This one has a body that I can rend. You'll rend my body, not keeper. Dear friend, little soul. I... I have feeling in my hands again. My memories... What... What happened to me? The tribunal sent you to free me, didn't they? I knew they would not forsake me to be damned to this place. More or less, yeah, they sent me. Now, for you, good sir, your friends are free. You set my companions free. What power do you bring to this realm? Could you release me as well? What binds you here? The Keeper bound these two, but it said I was too precious for bonds. Its master wanted me to decide for myself when my memories return. What does that mean? Memories of what? 
You are a fanatic devoted to the Daedric Princes. You, you cursed the Tribunal. You are an innocent caught in a power struggle. Hmm. Both are kind of true. This is a little more to the blunt, though. Hmm. Fanatic. <laughs> fanatic is being shouted in my chat, so okay, fanatic. A fanatic? Daedric princes? I... Your words ring true. What? What did I do? Uh, you slaughtered innocents while trying to destroy the tribunal, or it's best to forget what happened, it's not, it wasn't your fault. It was his fault. <laughs> it kind of was, to be honest. I killed. Yes, I killed. I remember. I thought they deserved it. Mother, the three... Who did this? Tell me! Amalexia executed, uh, uh, executed you for murder. Your mother placed you here. Murder? Yes. And it isn't over, is it? Because now my mother murders in my place. Come, I'll open the portal to her domain. Together we'll stop her. This has gone on long enough. You finally see enlightenment. Thank you, Vixie, for being blunt with him. This is probably the the biggest uh, freaking wokeness I've ever seen in such a short amount of time. <laughs> Away we go! <laughs> He's woke and pissed as hell. <laughs> He's not having it anymore. Hashtag woke in the chat. <laughs> I hate me! What did I freaking do? We need to stop this! The hell with what I was doing! We need to stop this now! <laughs> it's so good to have my body back again. Nothing here. All right, guys, let's go. Big guy. All of the big guys. Holy smokes. Heals from my team. Also, I'm going to collect your souls. Ooh. My inventory's finally freaking full. Uh, now it decides to turn against me. Ow. Nothing important here. else I can quickly use up and get rid of. Actually, let's destroy these. Ooh. Yes, I'll take all of those. And another recipe. There we go. Now I got some open space. You'll feel the wrath of my sword. 
Ooh. I see we can't fight without the little pests. Tall for Dark Elf. Ah, that's an awfully long stun. the spooks. Hi everybody, I see you're all free. Hi Alma Alexia. Vox is defeated and Veloth's judgment returns to the temple where it belongs. Our will prevails. Order shall be restored. Did Vox steal all the spirits? These are but a few of the innocents Vox imprisoned in her reservoir of souls. But her power is broken now, and they're free to pass on. That was your doing. Why are my companions? Uh, why are my companions spirits again? I restored them. Both Malvari and Doravis have been dead for a long time. They cannot return to life, but they can be set free. So that's it. It's over. Yes, but your journey continues. The time has come for you to move on. We will work to restore order in Morrowind. You may leave that to the three. I oh, don't know, you guys seem to be falling apart every other week. I guess I'll go, though. Goodbye, spooks. Hope you have a good time crossing over. Goodbye! Boop! Achievement unlocked, Plague Eater. Achievement unlocked, Vox Slayer. And where have I been sent? All the way to the hell back here. Excuse me, celebrated hero. Could you spare a few minutes for a poor agent of the pack? Even unlocked the inventory full. <laughs> um, let me see here. Did I get anything special in my collections? Nope. Nothing special in my collections. But I did get a skill. Did I get a level up? Nope. Just like a skill point. I haven't put anything to racial and that could actually help some of my stamina and uh, mana woes, so sure. 
plus two percent to both pools. And this fool wants something on me. What do you want? Good day, hero of Mournhold and Dishan. I hate to interrupt your victory, but I'm here to request your assistance. All right, what do you need? Dark times before Shadowfen. Dark times indeed. Murders and disappearances in Stormhold, and the Vice Cannons can't find a culprit. Why can't Stormhold guards find the murderer? The Vice Cannons need an outside party to help due to certain uh, political complications. Vice Cannon Honda expects me to send help. Fine, I guess I'll do what I can. Head south from here. Once you run out of good dry land, go a bit further and you'll hit Stormhold. Locate Vice Cannon Honda there. He'll direct you. What can you tell me about Stormhold? I could tell you where to find the only decent meal in town, uh, but that's probably not what you mean. Uh, what do you want to know? What can you tell me about the uh, vice cannons? War heroes from the Akaviri War. Strong leaders, honorable to the last. A good thing, too, since Shadowfen's troubled by its past. My people kept Argonian slaves within living memory, and that's not a wound to quickly heal. No, it isn't. Uh, anything else you can tell me about the disappearances? Not much, sadly. It's mostly Argonians missing. Some think slavers are to blame. If that's Possible. true, the pact may not survive such discord. No, that would not be good. What is Stormhold like? Not like I haven't been there. It's a Dunmer city, built on an Argonian village, built on an alien ruin. Confused, like <laughs> much of Shadowfen. Consider it um, a last bastion of civilization before Black Marsh. Everything south of Stormhold is lizards and mud. I hope you mean not just the Argonians. Anyway, I understand. Have a good day. <laughs> Alright, so that's the quest that's going to try and take us to the next area, although we still have a main quest that's taking us west eastward before we finish here, as I recall. Unless that quest is done too. Nope, it's still over there. But I believe we are up for our hour tonight. Matter of fact, we might be over it quite a bit. But I wanted to get that storyline done because we were so close. So with that, we are going to end the stream here. Thank you all very much for watching on YouTube and Vidme once again. And also thank you again, Vixi, for joining me in the chat. Uh, so we're going to call it for tonight. Uh, tomorrow night will be the group uh, Elder Scrolls Online get-together. Um, so we'll be going back to uh, Varnum Fell, further to the north, and we'll be continuing to try and figure out what's, uh, what's uh, alien one of the tribunal and try and stop it, hopefully, tomorrow. Um, but that's going to be for tomorrow night. Uh, again, thank you all very much for watching. If you want to help, keep upvoting like you have been, and also share the videos around. Um, you can always also uh, subscribe to the channels to keep an eye on things. If you like to help out even more than that, there's always PayPal, and there's not on the PayPal. Sorry, there's always uh, Patreon, which can be linked to by PayPal, and there's also always uh, Streamlabs, where you can either donate once or donate monthly to the uh, shows that you want to keep watching. Uh, also, if you're on VidMe, you can either subscribe to the channel or you can just tip a video, which is more or less the same idea. Again, thank you all for tonight, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take her easy.